Oh. Whoa, what is that? Hey, we might just have to add that one to the kitchen, bro. Whoa, this is a weird place to find shotgun shells. Dude, I got a fidget spinner. Okay, this thing's actually pretty cool here. Oh, I got a gun! Oh, baby! What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing some more magnet fishing. We are gonna be exploring the area that we discovered last week. And I'm super, super excited. There is a ton of bridges to hit today. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Don't forget to leave a like, and let's get right into magnet fishing. I'm thinking I got a ton of weeds. Oh no, I got something. Oh, I got a couple things. Oh, I got a fishing rod, there we go. Oh yeah, man, someone had a bad day. Boogie there, they were going for some. Look, it's still, it's still rigged up and everything. How does that even happen? Someone just must have gotten mad and just chucked it in there. Then we also got this weird looking thing right here. Oh, it's a ratchet strap, I think. Oh, yeah. All right, well, we got a fishing rod and a ratchet strap. There we go. Oh, I don't know if I have it or not, but I definitely felt something come out of the mud. First find, a little piece of shopping cart. I think it's a giant piece of rebar. Ugh. Whew. That's solid, man. I don't even think that's rebar. I don't even know what it is. Oh yeah, here we go. We got something. What is that? It looks like a piece of a light, maybe? It says perfection. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's a piece to a light. Oh yeah, what do we got? I got my first find here. A wheel, maybe? Some sort of wheel? My magnet got perfect right in the hole. Yeah, there we go. All right, we got some sort of wheel. Who knows? Maybe that's a piece of something bigger that we're pulling apart. I also got a little piece of a bike chain, too. Oh, yeah, we got a little... Is it a sign? Well, we'll throw it in the bucket. I still don't know. What do we got? Just a piece of the bridge, but it had so much mud in it that I couldn't figure it out. It looks like a bridge bolt. Is a bridge bolt. Oh, all right. It's a longer one of those things that we got earlier. I'm going to just go ahead and say... That's probably a piece of the bridge. What is this thing? I don't know. Get up here. Is it a hubcap maybe? Oh, we also got a top of a spray paint can as well. All right, well, we got a couple things. I'm glad I got this big thing out though. I've been wondering what that is. I kept clicking on it. Everything here is just so far down in the mud. You just gotta play with it. All right, here we go. This feels a little bit heavier. It says, warning, read the instructions. Yeah, I don't know, but it smells really bad. At least I got one thing here. I think we're gonna go try the other side real quick. We're doubled up, baby. Oh, I got my very own bike. Oh no! I got a little mini bike though. Gavin's bike might be a little bit bigger, but size doesn't always matter. Oh, I got a purse. That's what I'm talking about right there. Let's see, is there anything inside? I don't think so. I caught it by the clasps. Is there anything inside? No, it's already been looted. We had a purse though. No wonder why it felt like it was tied down. We got tons of wires. I think this is some sort of like fish tank light or something here. Gavin's got something coming up too. Oh, you got a tire rim. Looks like a bunch of chain. Oh, there we go. We got some Mardi Gras beads here. What do we got here? Oh, it's a crutch. Is that a oh, knife? Whoa, what do we got here? We actually got a couple things here. Oh, dude, we got like four different things on here. All right, so first off, I got the crutch. And then we got this really cool knife. I just, I rang it, dude. I got super lucky. Ain't this like a machete holder? Oh, oh, dude, I think it is. Here, I'll show one thing at a time here. We got this really cool pocket knife, actually. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, well, I just got a new pocket knife. We're putting this one in my pocket. One thing about magnet fishing, though, is you really never, ever need to buy tools or knives. This does look like a machete holder, kind of. If you guys are interested in getting a magnet for yourself, go check out battlemagnets.com. There's a link down in the description. Use code OUTDOORSWEEKLY for 10% off your entire order. Let's get back to the video. Yeah, this isn't even magnetic. I got super lucky that I got that because the magnet just went right through it. Oh, I think it's a car radio. Come out, baby. There we go. Yeah, we got a car radio. I thought I found a car radio earlier today, but this, this is an actual car radio. Oh, uh, whoa, what is that? <laughs> It's like a drum or something. Look at that, bro. Hey, we might just have to add that one to the kitchen, bro. Look at that, it's, it was still in the sheath. A bike rim. There we go, no bike on this side, but we did get a rim. Before we get started today, I think we're gonna have to hit the scrap yard because our trailer is really full. I think if we get a decent spot today, we're not gonna be able to handle it. Y'all take a guess down in the comments on how much weight you think we have here. I'm gonna go ahead and guess we got 1120. That might be a little high, but we'll see. Thank you, baby. All right, thank you. All right, there we go. 940 pounds, $65 paid for gas today. Ah! 
It's a piece of the roof. Look, dude, there's there's like storm damage. I don't know how we're gonna be able to get this up. This thing is freaking heavy. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. But as you can see, there's a ton of storm damage from either a hurricane or a tornado or whatever. It blew all of it probably into the river. And as you can see, there's a piece of the roof right there. And I guess there's some of it on the bank right there too. No, it's not roof. Oh, it's a big speaker. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that speaker. Holy crap. I bet you that thing bumped back in the day. It was a Memphis PR power reference woofers. Oh, there we go. I got a little battery. We got a Duracell Ultra. At least we're finding some stuff, but man, it's hard because like every throw, we're feeling roof. Oh, what do we got? I don't know. Oh, we almost freaking did catch and release there. We don't want to do no catch and release. But we'll go ahead and throw it in the bucket or attempt to throw it in the bucket and miss. Oh yeah, there we go. That was one good first throw there. What do we got? A metal chain that is connected to, I don't know what that is, it's like a pin or something. I hope I didn't just pull the plug out of the river. I don't know. And then just a couple little junk pieces there. Whoa, this is a weird place to find shotgun shells. Look where we are. We're in the middle of a city. And we just got shotgun shells. And of course we got a little drill bit. I got beads. Let's go. I got beads, baby. Oh no, they're broken. Y'all get some Mardi Gras beads. Whoa, huh. oh, keep your shirts on. All right, I don't know yet. Oh, I just got a lot lighter, unfortunately. We do got a couple things on here. Oh, we got a bike lock that uh, didn't really do the job. All right, we got a little pipe. The snippers got the best of the bike lock. Hey, the lock did the job though. What do we got here? We got a couple things. Jeez, man. <laughs> Shotgun shells, beads, and pipes. I'm pretty sure is what we got going on here. Oh, then we got an earring too. I'm pretty sure that's an earring. I did get something here. We got little tiny pieces that broke off of it. It kind of looks like a shopping cart. I'm really hoping it's not going to be a shopping cart because I hate finding those things. Is it a piece of a shopping cart? I think it is a piece of a shopping cart. No, no, it is. All right, well, we're getting some pieces of the shopping cart. I'm glad that I could get it out of the water, but man, are these things annoying to deal with. Hey, if we keep pulling it up piece by piece like that, though, it might not be too bad to, <laughs> to get up. I'm finding these shotgun shells everywhere down there, like all over. I found them over there, over there, and now over here. I guess this is just where the shotgun shells grow. They must be born in the bottom of the river here and harvested by Remington. We got a lock, is that what that is? Oh, <laughs> dude, I got a fidget spinner. Oh man, <laughs> I haven't seen one of these in a long time. We got a freaking fidget spinner, bro. Look at that. Eh. Uh, it's shot. It's not working. Oh my gosh, who remembers these things? Wow, what do we got here? It's in a bag. We got ourselves uh, a little wrench in a baggie. It's a little crooked guy. I was getting excited. I was like, did we get a galahoni in a bag? No, I actually got something right here. I'm very, very shocked. We actually got something just walking right along the side of this walkway. I usually never fish spots like this. Okay, you know what? Oh, we actually got two things. It's little pieces of junk, man. All right, you know what? That might be worth a second throw. I got like a bunch of stuff on here. I got a log for one. Ugh! What do we got? <laughs> Is that a piece of a trailer? I think I got a trailer hitch. Yeah, I think that's a ball hitch. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Damn, that was another click right there, man. Holy cow. We got something coming. Oh no, not, oh, I got to wrapped up in the stupid stick again. Oh, we got some beads. No, I lost the beads. Well, we got a shock right here and this thing. I don't know what it is. It looks like a ste oh, that's a stake, I think. Yeah, I don't know. We're just pulling a, I found more stuff just in this one little spot, like right here than I have on that entire bridge so far. We got a little, I think it's a shoot. Kevin's got a bunch of stuff too. Okay, this makes me really excited. Now, maybe all this stuff is not by the bridges. It's just along the walkway. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's a piece of like some sort of break. Oh, I got more beads. There we go. No, are you kidding me? Come on, I got to get those beads, bro. There we go. I got them. I got the beads. Oh, it's got it's got a pendant on it. Now start now start rapping. All right. Uh, this is me rapping. We are here in New York. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is, but we got it. What do we got? I don't even know. Gavin's finding stuff down there. I'm getting stuff right here. I don't even know, man. I have zero guesses on what that could be. What is it? It is another one of those support beams. 
Dang, all right. Well, that is the third one of those support beams that we have pulled up now. This is a piece of a pipe. At least I think that's what that is. Yeah, it's got writing on it. Let's see what it says. Lean, rich, carbonator. I think that says carbonator. All right, we got a carbonator. Well, here we go. We got ourselves a little brake shoe. I think this is a piece of a brake pad. Here we go. We got... Uh, we got this little piece of metal that is tied down to this rock. That is, uh, some odd stuff right there. We'll go ahead and throw that in the bucket. Yeah! There we go! <laughs> I got my first bike of the day! Yeah, I don't think this one's gonna work anymore. We got one, though. <laughs> okay, that is a new record. I got three cereal spoons on one throw there. Three suspiciously burned cereal spoons. Oh my gosh! holy crap dude okay well i thought three spoons were nuts this is crazy all right i think we got six little cereal spoons on that one time. i gotta count one two three four five six we have gotten six cereal spoons on that one throw <laughs> all right well i definitely got a couple spoons here but i got some other stuff on here too all right well there we go we got four more spoons here all different shapes and sizes. Thunder Group Inc. China. There we go. All right. Well, we got a couple of that. What is this? Dude, this is actually pretty cool here. Well, we got a bunch of spoons. I wonder if that's a restaurant right there. Uh, that is like an insane amount of spoons. But we got this thing. This is actually pretty cool. It looks like it's a bottle opener with a razor blade on it and a ruler and a pocket knife okay this thing's actually pretty cool here dude that thing's even got a freaking magnifying glass on it this thing's legit man all right well, we'll go ahead and throw it in the bucket more spoons let's go baby <laughs> we're going for a world record then we got a pipe it's funny because gavin has yet to get one spoon this is actually getting crazy now i don't know why i'm having so much joy pulling up these spoons but i have found more spoons than nails today all right here we go we got oh my spoons hey we finally got a fork though we finally got a fork hey gavin you want to find some spoons bro i got a good spot another piece of this angle metal i don't this must have been used for like like the support i wonder if the supports under this cement right here are made of this stuff because there is so many like this has got to be like the fifth one of these that we've found so far here it's a bridge bolt no it's not even a bridge bolt it's like a stake oh there you go <laughs> yeah that is a heavy one dude there you go look at that it's still got the freaking bike lock on it man all right we got just a little piece of trash energizer rechargeable battery i don't know why someone would get rid of that and I don't know what these things are. I do find them occasionally, though. Throw that in there and just tons of Mardi Gras beads. Another bike? Are you kidding me? Gavin's got two bikes on that one spot. That one actually doesn't look in too bad of condition. Yeah! There we go, baby! Bike number what? Four today so far? Let's go, dude. Oh my gosh, he's riding it! Oh, there goes the chain. I knew there was no way it was gonna be able to make it. I'm surprised that thing even made it that far. Oh, is it rebar? I definitely had something else on there too. Oh, I got a chain. There we go. We got like an old dog tag chain. I got a knife to go with all my spoons. There we go. We got the, we kind of got a full set. We got a knife. There we go. All right. Now I can rest assured that I have at least one fork and one knife. What do we got? I don't know. Ugh, is it just bridge bolt? No, it's a lock. Oh, it's two locks. There we go. We got a master like padlock. Then we also got like a lock with a key with a couple pieces of chain links on there. We got some sort of can. Oh, uh, it's a can of sludge is what it is. Yeah, it's already been busted open. Gosh, <laughs> we got two beads on there. I think we also got a, this is a shopping cart wheel. I just saw all these beads. They're square though. I've not seen any square beads before. Yeah, we got a little, I think this is a shopping cart wheel. Uh, we got a bunch of bikes and stuff at the bridge down there. Nothing too crazy so far today. I got like a hundred spoons. I don't want you to find that gun oh yeah, man. Well, we're looking for it. Yeah, no, <laughs> I want to clean it up. <laughs> you drop them? Right there? Alright, what is it? I'll go get it right now. A wrench? Alright, I'm going to get it. <laughs> hey, I'll get it. I'm going to look. <laughs> Hey, Gavin, he dropped his wrench in the river. Now my, my only goal in life at the moment is to find this wrench. If you know about where it is, I can get it. 
Oh, on the wall right there. Oh, all right. I'm fishing in the wrong spot. Oh man. Uh, we've got anywhere from like Harley Davidson motorcycles, a duffel bag full of jewelry. We got a duffel bag full of rockets one time. It, I mean, if you got, if it gets close to it, these magnets hold 3,500 pounds. They're like rare earth neodymium, so they're super strong. So if it's close to it, it'll get it. You got a bike? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we got another bike. There you go. That one's fresh too. What do we got? Just a bunch. I need my bucket. I'm getting a ton of stuff. Oh, dude, I got something huge. Gavin's got a bike over there. I got something else. Oh, I got a tire rim. Oh, dude, it's got the whole freaking axle on it. No wonder why I think so heavy. Oh, it's like one of those road flashing things. No wonder why this thing's so freaking heavy. It's one of those like hazard, like caution working people. It's like hissing at me though. Gavin's got a bike. It's got some decent weight to it. I think it's just a little flat piece of metal right there. There we go. I got a little something here. What do we got? Oh man, I got a huge chain. There we go. <laughs> we got a huge chain with a lock on it. Oh no, it's flinging mud everywhere. There we go. We got a little lock and some chain. All right, I'm trying more out here. Oh, I got a gun. Let's go. But I'm in a, such a shit situation right now. No. Oh, dude, this sucks. It's stuck, bro. Oh. Oh, yes, I still got it. Let's go, dude. Oh, baby. We got a little snub nose. Hell yeah, dude. I got so lucky. I thought that rope was going to flick it back in the water. Got a little pearl handle. There we go. Let's go, baby. It's a piece of a pipe. There we go. And some beads. We got some pipe. What is that? Um, it looks like it used to be something important. But it is not. I have no idea what this thing is though, for real. You guys know, let me know down in the comments. I know it's pretty freaking heavy. This is insane, man. We already have so many bikes in the trailer. We're gonna have to make another scrap run tomorrow before we start. Not because we have found a ton of stuff, just because the stuff we're finding is so big and awkward, like the bikes. Do I got something that feels a little bit heavier? Oh yeah, we got some blue. Is it blue rebar? No, it's just blue piece of metal. A little clasp for a pipe. Holy crap. Gavin just counted the bikes and he says we're at seven. What is this? Oh, it's another hard drive. Oh man, some scary hard drive. People like to get rid of these in the rivers and I can only imagine why they're getting rid of them. I don't even want to know what's on that thing. All the reasons why I could think you'd want to get rid of a hard drive in the river are not good. I got two bikes today. All right, I, I, I really want to get another bike because I, I wasn't going to let Gavin have all the bikes. Oh, oh it's falling apart. It's oh, it's falling apart. And the bike just exploded. Oh my gosh. That bike's been out there for so long, it's exploding. Well, I got a piece to the bike. I wasn't lying when I said the bike exploded. It just like went to like four or five different pieces. All right, we're gonna piece by piece pull up this bike apparently. Here we go, I got something coming. Oh no, this feels like a pipe. This feels like a, oh no, it's rebar. All right, I'll take a little bit of rebar. Really haven't found, honestly, I haven't found too much rebar today. And that is gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. If you guys have made it this far in the video, comment wrench down in the comments. I, we Unfortunately, we were not able to recover the wrench, but we did find a gun while we were looking for the wrench, so it all worked out in the end. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.